So uh, here we have the pond. I'm going to show you some of the improvements that we've made to the grow bed and the, uh, the system as a whole. But uh, we got over here. It's I tried to do a uh, like a hydroponics ebb and flow bucket type system. We're still trying to work out the tweaks and that's developing like a weird suction. But uh, here's the grow bed right now. As you can see right here, we've got we've got uh, two different kinds of uh, sweet potatoes, and they're really doing well in the grow bed. They're taking over actually, and. Uh, we had some cantaloupe going. It's not so doing. It's not doing so hot right now. Uh, the pump. We had a little electrical short circuit, so the pump stopped running to the grow bed for a couple days when it was over 100. And uh, we got this grass you see is. It's actually rice. We wanted to experiment with rice in the grow bed. This is all from that that pump going down, but the other rice is doing really well. This is after about I don't want to say two and a half weeks, three weeks. We got some uh, chard that uh, went to seed and all the seeds just started to sprout up. But, and uh, we got some lettuce that went to seed too in there. But everything, as you can see, is doing really well. Um, we're still kind of honing the system, but it's doing really well. All right. And the pond filtration, it's doing pretty good. Uh, Clarity's was a lot better my brother put way too many koi in here and uh they're really rooting around on the bottom stirring stuff up so right now i've got it on a timer right it, it uh pumps water into the grow bed every uh two hours for about an hour and so it's been working pretty good i'll uh i'll post another video of once we start our harvest